Hello and welcome. Today in this short video I'm going to show you a developer feature of Chromium browsers that most people don't even know about. How to override HTTP responses directly in the browser's network tab. But before we dive into that, let me explain why it is so important for developers. Let's consider some real-life scenarios. Testing how an application handles error scenarios such as server errors or not found errors is crucial. Developers can use HTTP overrides to simulate these errors for any API request, ensuring that the application displays appropriate error messages and handles errors gracefully without crashing. Security testing often involves testing how an application handles various types of malicious input. Developers can override HTTP responses to simulate attack scenarios such as cross-site scripting or SQL injection within the response data. Developers often need to test UI components in various states like loading, error, empty and populated states. By overriding HTTP responses, they can quickly switch between different states without the need for backend changes, allowing for a thorough testing of all UI components under different data conditions. And trust me, there are many more scenarios where you will find this feature crucial in your professional flow. Now let's dive into the specific example of how to use this feature. I opened the npm website to search for a package. Here I randomly chose the Axios mock adapter, but the specific package isn't important. Then I opened the network tab and pressed command F to open the search menu. I entered the library's name to find the exact HTTP response where this text is located. To override it, do a right click and select content override. Next, you need to choose a folder on your computer where the overrides will be stored. You can manually delete them whenever you want. So here I just chose my desktop as a folder. Then you will see an editor for your local file. Here I changed the package name to include hello world and then saved it. From now on, every time I reload the page, our HTTP response will be automatically overridden. It's important to note that if you close the developer console, the overrides will disappear and will reappear automatically if you open the console again. As we can see, if we search for content in the network tab, the browser thinks that hello world is part of the real server response. The last thing I will show you is how to remove an override. To do that, you need to go to the sources tab. Here you have two options. Either remove everything or just deactivate the overrides with a checkbox. And that's it. I hope that was helpful and see you soon.